guys, so I just had a couple uh, questions I'm hoping you might be able to help me with in my process here. I'm trying to make a pretty complicated shape, but I'm having some uh, issues with, I don't know if you can see this here, it's, it's not filling out exactly. Um, so I'll get pretty good shapes all the way around, and then I'm gonna get these holes. So it goes from resin to no resin, back to resin. Right there's perfect shot of it. It's got some some air bubble holes in the mold when I press it in there. A couple mild ones here, but this one's pretty bad. I don't know if you can see this area. These flat spots are perfect, literally perfect. But um. And also, you can tell I'm getting a little too much resin as well. It's, the carbon wasn't pressed all the way into the mold. In addition to having these air bubbles, unlike this, where it's clear here. Get this yellowing from too much resin in the same spot. The last one I made here is a bit better. It doesn't have any hole problems, but this nearly was very, very nearly like stiff and cured before I got it into the mold got it pressed into shape so it's probably why it stayed a little better in the correct shape but it again has a couple little air bubble holes and it's not a perfect part it's a problem <laughs> so what i'm using here for the mold it's a pretty good mold it's pretty well finished it's very smooth i use one layer of part all wax and then um spray on two pretty thick layers of PVA, which has been working beautifully. They peel off nicely. So this is the plug. I press it, put the part in here, get all the layers laminated. And I get this and I squeeze it in there in the back. And then I have it on a little bit of heat as well, about 250 F. So this is what keeps the press from behind the part. Just trying to get these holes filled out. So it, occasionally it works. Here's some other ones that I made a different, little bit different shape, but same process. Pretty good as well, but again, not perfect. You can tell this one has some dry spots on it too. They're pretty hard to see because it's still shiny, but most of it is dry here. Here's a good transition point to see the difference. So if anybody has any pro tips, I would love to hear them. Really struggling with this, so anything helps again. Thanks.